What's going on, everybody? Uh, I just want to take a few minutes. This is African American History Month, or Black History Month, or Negro History Month, whatever you choose to call it, and wanted to talk about this number 15 million. Between 1973, the year in which I was born, and 2013, 15 million African American babies boys and girls who've been aborted. Here's another number. During the transatlantic slave trade, between 1501 and 1867, it is estimated between 15 million and 20 million African American men and women died between 1501 and 1867 it is estimated 15 to 20 million men and women died in 40 years between 1973 and 2013 15 million African American baby boys and girls have died so this is my challenge to African Americans. To African Americans, men and women who look like me, men and women who celebrate this time of the year. My challenge to those who believe in life, who believe in the renewal of our communities, who believe that African Americans are beautiful, that you would have the courage to stand up so that over the next 40 years there will not be another 15 million African American black Negro baby boys and girls who are aborted in our country. And for those of you who believe it is a woman's right to abort a child, to kill a child. For those of you who believe that, then I would ask you parents to then turn to your child tonight over the next couple of days and tell your child that you believe you have the right, you possess the right, that you believe that it is okay. I need you to tell your child that you carried for nine months, that you are a father to that you believe that during that pregnancy you could have aborted your son or daughter and you would have been okay with that. If you truly believe that it's okay to abort a child, then I need for you to tell your child. I need for you to be consistent. Tell your child tonight at dinner. Tell them after church. Tell them before church. Tell them before they go to school that you believe it is okay, it would have been okay for you to have aborted that son or daughter that is in your home, that you take to school, that you play games with. Tell them that it would have been okay for you to exterminate them, for them never to have been born into this world. But then I say to those, once again, who, who stand up for the rights of the innocent to remind them as Martin Luther King said once, whom we just celebrated a couple of weeks ago, that injustice in one place threatens justice everywhere. 